Find the Laurent series for f of z equals 1 over z plus z squared in this region here. So let's go ahead and work it out. So there's a formula that we'll need. It basically says if you have 1 over 1 minus w, that's equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of w to the n. And this is true as long as the modulus of w is less than 1. So in this problem we have this region here and we basically have to rewrite our function um, so that w is equal to z plus 1. So there's a couple ways um, to go about this. Let's do it all at once. So f of z is equal to 1 over z plus z squared. And the trick is uh, to write down what you want. Now before we do that, it might make it easier if we factor out a z. So 1 plus z. Okay, we want this to be 1 over 1 minus z plus 1. That's what we want. So we went ahead and wrote down what we want. You see w is going to be z plus 1 for us. All right, now we actually have to fix this. Well, first of all, 1 minus 1 is 0. So the only thing we really have here is a negative z. We don't have a negative z here. We have a positive z. So we have to put a negative. So I'll put it upstairs. So all we have right here written down, all of this is just 1 over z. And now we're just missing the 1 plus z. Boom, there it is. So it's really, really uh, a slick method uh, to take. So let's keep going. So this is negative 1 over 1 plus z times, and then 1 over 1 minus z plus 1. And now we can use the formula. So this is the infinite sum. We still have this piece here as n runs from 0 to infinity of z plus 1 to the n. And we can do that because we know the modulus of z plus 1 is less than 1. Now we can just distribute the 1 plus z. So this is negative infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of z plus 1 to the n minus 1. And the reason it's n minus 1 is because there is a 1 here. Right? So when you're dividing, you subtract the exponents. Let's keep going. Maybe we can clean this up by making a substitution. So we'll let k be equal to n minus 1. In this case, n is equal to k plus 1. And so this ends up becoming, well, let's see. When n is 0, k is negative 1. So k will start at negative 1, and it runs all the way to infinity. And then we have z plus 1 to the k. And we still have the negative sign. So that is the final answer. Now, if you don't like the approach we took, um, there is another approach you can take. So let me go through that. So remember, we have z plus 1 less than 1 and greater than 0. And we start with f of z equals 1 over z plus z squared. So we first factor out the z. And so we want uh, z plus 1. So one way to do that is to add 1 and subtract 1. This is a more elementary approach. And then we can rewrite this as 1 over negative 1 plus z plus 1. 1 plus z, going kind of fast here. And we don't want negative 1 plus z plus 1. We want 1 minus z plus 1. So you can factor out a negative. And so you get 1 minus z plus 1. 1 plus z. And then you can bring the negative upstairs. So negative 1 over 1 minus z plus 1. 1 plus z. So that's exactly what we did up here. But we did it in a single step. So I hope this helps.